What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I've got old Halfway here with me. We are in the uh, lawnmower shop. I got a freaking spot cleaned up right here in the shop here and we are going to be pulling the, um, well we gotta move this pallet of stuff out of the way, but Halfway and I are gonna be bringing the rear axle out of the five ton rock wells in here right below the chain fall just in case we have to use it. We're gonna be de-breaking it. Um, on mud trucks and stuff like that. You don't use drum brakes, so you just call it a driveline brake. We'll get into all that here in just a second, but for now, we're gonna go on the forklift, get the axle brought in here and get it set on some jack stands, or probably be safe on some blocks of wood. Ah, uh, yeah, because jacks, what well, the jack stand gonna do the axle shafts this big I know, yeah. So we'll, I've got some big blocks of wood. We'll get it set on some blocks of wood, and get the torch out, because I know we've gotta cut the backing plates off of it, and get this rear axle de-braked. Are the say? backing plates not bolted on? They're made on They're like it? riveted onto it, I think. So, we're gonna get her pulled in here. All right, folks, I've got the axle in here on the forklift. We've got it strapped up by the chain fall up here. This is a one ton chain fall, so 2,000 pounds. This is probably <laughs> right at 2,000 pounds, if maybe, I don't know. I don't know what these this things weigh. They're, Honda, right? they're heavy. Yeah, this is a Honda car on our forklift here. Um, we're gonna use this chain fall. Get this thing picked up here, at least get it straight on the forklift. That ain't too bad and then we can uh, get it put on some blocks of wood. <clears throat> well folks, we got halfway over here, busting the nuts loose. Here, that's your specialty, eh? <laughs> I tried to quit doing that. And uh, we're gonna get the axle slid out of here so we can get the... Oh, oh you're leaking, that's you're, why I you're you a leaker. Have a little bucket or something? <laughs> well, it looks good. I know, that's plus. We're gonna get the axle slid out and then try to get this hub unbolted so we get the brake drum off of it. All right, slide her out of there, Daddy. Oh, I like your um, the way you're handling your shaft there, bud. That's a lot. It's big. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> All right, so we got the shaft out of it, guys. We're gonna get the nut loose right here on this huge axle housing, and we're gonna get the lock ring out of here. And there's another nut behind it, and this huge freaking thing right there the seal <laughs> seal probably and i bet this freak this drum probably comes off with it this yeah, is going to be a heavy mother trucker we'll probably uh, no didn't think about that we didn't think about that oh, <laughs> well we can just use a dolly or something and just pull it off so we're going to get probably a hammer and a chisel and a chisel and knock that beach loose there you have it guys off as if you're playing nuts again Nut, nut handler. Oh. There you go. <laughs> I used to have one of those, but she left. Oh, she done left. <laughs> she left. <laughs> Careful, that thing probably sharper than shit. It is. It you cut can you. Feel it. I'm cut my thumb. Look at that. I'm bleeding. Yeah. Can't see it though. Spin it loose. Here, here, here. Let's put that stuff in this here bucket and the, with the flies. That one's the big one. That one's a lot bigger. <laughs> you gonna be able to bust it? Oh, you done busted it loose. There you go. Careful, I'm probably sharp too. They both are. Well, you've been piping around all day, so. Uh, plumber. Plumber. Got them plumbing hands again. <laughs> By the way, you got your um your your snake here with you? Sewer machine? Woo, yeah. Oh, what? come on. Our toilets aren't working. <laughs> Well, guys, we got this outer grease seal, I guess you'd call it. Here, let me get my pry bar here for you. There, bud. Oh, you mother poker. There's something. Is there another thing here? Oh, that's the bottom. Stuck on the bottom. Oh, there she goes. Right there. One of them things are so freaking expensive. This thing looks good in there. Good deal. Alright, well, I guess we'll, we'll see if we can pry that big bastard off. Alright, move all this stuff. Let's put a hole in the floor. I don't even know where to start. I'll have to pull it. Oh, well, that's not too bad then. Careful, don't hurt yourself. Mother's well, heavy. We have to make we can shove a um, a jack under it, Austin. Might have to because it's gonna try to bind up. All right. 
Guys, we got the drum pulled off of it with the jack there. Thing's dumb heavy. We're gonna mess with pull unbolting the drum from the hub in just a second. First, we're gonna take the torch right here, and I talked to a friend of mine, Robert, and he said to just take, instead of trying to undo all these rivets, just to cut the um, rear flange here, if I get the camera to come into focus, right along these lines right here, um, and get it off, and then you can go as far as cutting it and making everything nice and square afterwards. We put a rag over here, we've kind of doused in some water. There's also grease under the axle also, so I don't have to worry about getting any sparks on that and hurting anything. And I'm gonna fire, fire the old blowtorch up. Son, give her a good whacking. Whack off. Hit her hard. Oh, you got the you got the jank one. The head's head's gonna fall off on you. <laughs> Whack it. Hey. Pick it up. Yeah. Grab a hold of it. There we go. That's some thick stuff right there, boy. Sawn. Sawn! You would know what one inch looks like. Times it by two and you got me. <laughs> well, I guess we just need to, yeah, I wouldn't touch her. She's yeah, probably warm. It. Slide it off of there with something and then I'll come over and cut it nice and pretty with a torch. Make it nice and square. It's probably warm. Is it warm there? Yeah, it it's warm everywhere. It's probably freaking heavy as shit too, ain't it? Looks heavy. Is it heavy? And that is how we debreak a dag gang. Five ton. Five ton. All right, guys. So I am currently cutting these safety wires off the bolts that hold the drums to the hubs, and we are going to remove these hubs. I'm sorry. Remove the drums from the. Ooh. To the drums from the hubs because they're not going to be running these good brake drums. We're going to run pinion brakes on the front and rear axle. So the front axle has already been done. We're going to try to get this rear one rebuilt, um, if not by the weekend, by like Monday or Tuesday next week, and then get the front axle in here and go through it and get it completely de braked. And get the hubs put on there. I'm going to order all new seals. All the bearings are in really good shape. They got nice, clean, fresh grease in here. So I'm going to order all new inner and outer axle seals. We're not going to pull the top off the chunk there. We're going to leave it alone. Uh, well, we may, we may have to if we're going to weld it. Put a lock on it. Yeah. Like I said, I would get some like <clears throat> 3 8 plate that's thick. Stuff it in there and weld it shut. Uh, I'm going to do some research. If a locker's not that expensive, I'm just going to throw a locker on it and call it that. Yeah, but uh, free 99 will hit her with the old booger box. <laughs> <laughs> and she'll be ready to rock with Fozzie. That's going to be your boss's new welder. That's right. What kind of welder is it? Well. <laughs> well. 
I know it's a Miller. It's all matter. If it's not blue, I don't want it. And it's blue, so. so I like Lincoln. Gonna get these bolts buzz out of here, get the drum off of it after you get all the safety wires cut, and uh, try to clean up our mess here and unbolt that front dry shaft. And then maybe I'll go ahead and smooth off them welds right there, or them up, of course, cut. You know what I say? We hit old girl right there with a little nice layer of Bondo. Paint right over it, it'll look good. Right oh yeah, Bondo, Bondo and a roller, Dusty will get it happening. Yeah, also, buddy. update, the swamp buggy build is happening. We are not giving up on it. But since I decided to build the fly, I'm not going to put the Detroit swamp buggy. So what motor do you want to put in it? I don't know, something nasty. Faux 50 faux. It might happen. Something trashy. Something trashy. Yeah, 454 is not trashy. <laughs> trashy and nasty. That's what you need to put on it. Just build a, a plywood sign with spray paint on it. Trashy and nasty. Yeah. Put some shag carpet on the top. Wipe your feet. That keep them clean. The grass carpet. Like oh, that, that would be sweet. Outdoor carpet. <laughs> yeah. 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 So the buggy build's happening. The flag bill's happening, and I tell you guys, by Sunday at the latest, everything's going to be whacked off from underneath the flatbed, spring your hanger mounts, axles are going to be out of it. It's going to be on these big, huge um, dump truck jack stands here by Thursday night. Yeah. Tomorrow we're going to get them. Yep. Tomorrow's Wednesday. So Thursday night's video, you will see the flatty on freaking jack stand. If you guys want to see the behind the scenes stuff before YouTube sees it, you can go to my Instagram, or probably Halfway's Instagram, because he's wanting to be a part of this build and going to hang around. So you can check me out at Bruce underscore After Hours and Halfway at Halfway Performance. Halfway Performance, so that's easy enough. Alright, enough talking. I'm going to get these things out of here and then get the impact above the loop. What's nice is about every bolt's the same size. Yeah, right in Makes sense in case you're getting shot at. You no, know, it's a good thing you're not a not on the NASCAR pit crew. <laughs> oh, you're so funny. Also, guys, over here at uh, the Bruce Wilson YouTube channel and all my associates here, we build our own stuff. We don't send it off to get built. So, just something to think about there, folks. Now, where's the big hand hammer at? Dusty has. Oh, there she is. Tire hammer. See if we can give her a whack. There it is. There's our exposed hub. These things are freaking huge, dude. Yeah. Golly. Well, guys, halfway's over there doing nothing. Drinking his bush latte. We've got our, uh, yeah, spinny windy or spinny, spinny grindy. We've got our five ton rear axle on the ground, pretty much all debraked. I'm gonna do some research on um, whether or not I should weld the rear end or put a locker in it. If any of you guys that are watching our mud truck guys have anything to do with these five ton rock wells, maybe you can let me know well, if I should weld it, put plates in it, weld it, or put a locker in it, or put a spool in it. I don't know guys, I'm all new to this, so I'm learning as I go, like debraking this. I had to do a little bit of research. I kind of freaked out cutting that because I didn't know if I like, cut the spindle or something, I don't know, but it ended up being good there. So I'm going to take and torch these all nice and flat um, and order new seals to go in the hubs because all the bearings and all that are in amazing shape um, and get this thing put back together. So it's, like I said, it's all debraked. We're going to scrap the rotors and shoes and all that stuff, throw those in the scrap pile. we got the dry shaft unbolted off there. We're going to scrap that and uh, I'm going to get... Save that I can buy like whole five ton dry shaft for like a hundred bucks. Yeah, but why spend a hundred bucks if you already got it? Well, I might, well, no, I mean like whole dry shaft, like oh, the, whole, the thing. whole thing. That's what I'm gonna try to do is make five ton shafts just bolt right in. I have to mess with them. Maybe. We'll get lucky, maybe. But we got all that off. These hubs, if you guys notice, they bolted on where you can actually see where the big long part sticks out to the outside. We're gonna flip those around to give us a wider stance on the rear axle so that the tires we put on here and the rims are centered the offset on the wheels will be centered instead of offset you know negative offset so we don't have to worry about bending them and stuff like that so a little bit stronger the truck can sit wider so we don't have to worry about rollovers and stuff like that as much 
Um, so that's pretty much for today's video. We got it all debraked, got a little bit of fab action in there. Well, torch action, no fab action. Uh, I do have a lot of stuff in the works. Flatty is going up on jack stands and like, like I said, two days, not tomorrow. Wednesday, we're going to pick up the jacks. It'll be nighttime, so we'll be able to do it at night. And then Thursday, we're getting it up on the jack stands and it will be in the air and we're gonna get the cage ordered up and I'll start tacking that stuff in by next week at the very latest. And uh, ordering the seals tomorrow, the axle seals will be here and I may have to order some whatever seals I have to do inside here depending on what I find out about welding the rear end or putting a locker in it. And we'll get this rear end completely done. And then once this one's done in the next couple days, I'll get the front axle in here, get it put on blocks, and uh, start taking it apart and getting it ready to go in the truck also. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go to brucewilsonshop.com. Grab your Make Tractors Great Again t-shirts. They are all in stock. We just got them in today. I'll hopefully have those in the next couple of videos. I'll be wearing those babies because they are just freaking sick. Maybe we'll get some flatty mud truck t-shirts designed here soon. Also go to Halfway's channel at Halfway Performance. Link is in the description below. Go check him out. Follow him. He's slow to get videos up because he does everything half-ass. I mean halfway. So but he'll I have a full-time job. He got four baby mamas. One baby mama. Two kids. So I upload once a week. Yeah. So he'll be getting his videos up. Go follow him. So make sure you mash the like button. Drop a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel, guys. My name is Bruce Wilson. We will catch y'all later. Peace.